Yo, 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 yo. Anyways, <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Insane Game Freak here. Um, this is an update video, but this is like really rambly and shit because my mind isn't necessarily in the best of places right now, which would probably argue why the fuck are you recording a video then? Because I can? Yeah, that, that's what we're gonna go with. Anyways, <laughs> so. Essentially, we're just gonna talk about updates for the channel. I hit six, I hit over six thousand subscribers. I did the little stream on Friday, which is in the upload, so you can go back and watch it. It's like it's probably like two videos back. Well, three videos that I upload these other two videos. Um, I haven't recorded the Best Wishes episode ten review. I'll probably record that right after this. I should have recorded that first, but that's possible. Now I'm just rambling about stupid shit, and this is update video. Now I'm gonna do that anyway. <laughs> Uh, so in terms of updates, in terms of the fall season of anime and shit, I am reviewing things. Because I know people were already messaging me when the first season of Bakuman, I mean the first episode of Bakuman Season 3 came out. And it was like, you should tell me, where's your review, where's your review? Okay, I'm going to link it. At the beginning, my Bakuman Season 3 will be on my second channel, Terrell Game Falls, which has always been a link in the description, but I'm going to actually annotate it this time. And then I'm also going to annotate... Anime Real Talk TV. And the reason why I'm animating this, annotating this, is because I am actually going to start the weekly discussions, weekly seasonal anime discussions. And I actually picked three shows that are fairly relevant. Probably two out of those three are more relevant than the third one, but I pick what I want to watch. Um, the three shows I'm doing over there for this season, I actually am doing the JoJo 2012 anime, uh, the Batum anime, and the... My Little Monster anime, which two of which are on Crunchyroll, JoJo, yeah. <laughs> JoJo doesn't have a legal stream, surprisingly. And that doesn't mean that's the only things I'm watching, because I am, I am watching Maji. Uh, I know it's already come out sub, but I'm going to the Crunchyroll shit, which comes out actually tomorrow, so it's not even that big of a deal. Um, Maji, I might check out that other show. I think Gavin reviewed it, and I can't remember the title off the top of my head. I know Crunchyroll has it. I just I can't think of the title off the top of my head. I have yet to learn, like, all the shit yet. And I'm also watching Madaka about season two. I'm, I'm watching, and I'm still watching Space Brothers and shit, so, and Hunter Hunter and everything. So, those aren't the only shows I'm watching. Those are just the review-related shit, because obviously Skate Dance is over and Game Thomas back, but I don't, I'm not cut off the Game Thomas. So, second channel has Bakuman season three. Anime Real Talk TV has JoJo. Um, Jojo, My Little Monster, and Batum. Those won't be, like, on time because obviously what I'm going to do is I'm actually waiting until, like, I've seen all the, like, episodes for that week. Like, for this week, I think I should be done with the episodes by Saturday because Batum comes out, I think, either tomorrow or Thursday and then, like, Jojo comes out on, like, Saturday or Sunday or some shit. And then I'll record it and then you'll get it for that next week. So, obviously, I'll be a little late, but you get the point. Um, so those are the review side of thing. Uh, in terms of the gaming stuff, because I know a lot of people are like, are you going to review Kazuko Musou? Are you going to review Pokemon Black and White 2? Um, and any other future game that I want to review. Now, honestly, with game reviews, now Pokemon Black and White 2 I'm going to review, period. Just like, that one has no delay on it whatsoever because it's a DS game or 3DS game, depending on what you're playing it on. Technically, it's just a DS game. I can't record DS game footage anyway, so I'm just going to review that one straight. I am, And also, yes, I am going to review the Pokemon movie when it comes out in December. I think it comes out on December 4th, the English dub of the of the Kaleido movie with, like, the three legendary dogs, like Verizion and shit like that, and then Curium and shit like that. So there will be a review for the game and that movie. Um, as far as the big system games are concerned, like Kazuko Muso. I want to wait until I get a better recorder for HD footage. Now, for those who see my stream, you knew I used my Dazzle. But my Dazzle, and my Dazzle isn't bad, but it's like it inherently bothers me how that quality is kind of ass. And I do believe that quality is kind of ass. Like, I, I look at that, and every time there's like a fast movement on screen, the, the, you'll see the shit like... It's not like a glitch, but it just shifts out and it looks like a whole bunch of lines for like a few seconds and it just irks the hell out of me. I want to wait until I get a better recorder. And if Esper, if you're watching this, what do you use to record footage? Because I know you get the trailers and stuff, but you also record like gameplay cutscenes. Do you like, what do you record? Like, what do you use to record? 
Because I'm thinking of a HPOG like HD PVR, but I don't know if that's the best thing. Which also goes into another question, because that's like, I think that's like almost $200 or some shit. And then I also wanted to get like a microphone. So when I'm recording for Anime Real Talk TV or if I'm doing any type of Skype podcasting type shit, you know, it, people can hear me and it sounds clear and it doesn't sound like you're recording off a webcam, which I'm obviously doing. Um, and here's the thing about that. I'm thinking the HPOG shit is a way more important because... Video game footage over clear audio isn't that big of a deal, especially because you can hear me anyway. It's not like my audio shit. And I would only be using that fucking thing for, like, videos where I'm doing the webcam shit. I wouldn't be using it for these type of videos because I'm standing up anyway. What am I going to do? Hold the fucking thing and be like this. Hey, right, my name is... This. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm only going to be using it for the webcam stuff anyway. So, I'm going to ask you guys anyway, which do you think I should get first? But, obviously, I'm probably saying the the pog will probably be a bigger like the the video game core would be a bigger deal because i still want to review ain't rayman origins even though that game started as fuck well at least the last those last few levels are hell and then that that like special like that that secret ending level to that final boss is ridiculous i have i have not i have yet to even go back to that game and attempt that because i've seen that stage i've seen people play that stage that stage looks like hell that stage was like hell incarnate, and I thought the last stage was hell. I thought the last like game stage for like the normal ending was hell. The final ending stage, oh shit, that is insane. People, and people ran through that bitch like once. How do you do a one? How do you do that on the first try? You know, you know how many times people probably died on that stage. Fucking ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. That thing tested your reflex like hell. Um. So that's regarding that, and then obviously I have to give my thank yous because you guys have supported me to the point where I have, I actually don't even have 6,000 subscribers, I have like 6,200 and something, which shocks the shit out of me, because Friday I had like 6,000 and like a little bit over 6,000, and all of a sudden I have 6,200, have I just hit that point where I'm just like progressively gaining a shit ton of subscribers ridiculously, because if so, holy shit, I mean, um, as I said, I to me, I always thought it'd be a cool ass thing to hit over 10k subs. Um, whether I get it or not, it remains to be seen. But I, I, I thank you guys for the support you've given me so far. Period. Like, regardless if my videos aren't the most well known, because obviously I don't do a lot of the mainstream shit. The only thing I really do of consequence that gets me, that you could say gets me the most notoriety, is the Pokemon reviews. Like everything else is just pretty much my standard fare. Shit I was doing on my other channel, except for probably the Nostalgia Rush. And societal discussions are just my discussions just with a fucking proper title to them. So, it's not like my channel is, like, innately amazing. You guys really like the It's Anime series, which, honestly, I didn't even think I was going to make that a series, but you guys asked for it. Well, no, no, it's not that you guys asked for it. You guys show ridiculous of a response on, those first, on that first thing. Because, personally, I just thought that would be one video. I didn't think I would make a second one. And then the second one did almost, I think, just as well. So I was like, Jesus Christ. So it's because of you guys that I even am making more of those. Because originally I just planned to make one. Um, <laughs> and then the Star Rushes I'm getting more involved in. I know people have already messaged me. Like I think like 10 or 15 of you guys have already messaged me. I haven't messaged you back purely because I haven't set up date and time. I haven't even picked the next one yet. I need to pick the next one and then see which one of you messaged me about it and then, like, message you guys about it. I haven't done that because I haven't decided. I've been, I mean, I, was, I still go to school and work and shit, so I'm still, like, tired. I mean, hell, the only reason why I'm able to record this video right now is because tomorrow my teacher was like, you have a lab day. And I was like, fuck that, I'm not going in so I can stay up a little later and record some videos and shit. Uh, I also got to record a few more reviews. Um, thank you guys for the support on Crunchyroll. Um... I've <laughs> I still find that cool that my videos are on that site and I'm like talking casually to the people who work there. The Crunch Roll shit is pretty cool. It's not like the views are amazing. I mean, that's because I don't have a fan base on Crunchyroll. I have to like build that. It's essentially like Crunchyroll. I have to start over on Crunchyroll. But for those of you who do go and check that, you know, who have my show on their queue. And shit, I, I, you know, I thank you for that. That's awesome, you know. You guys didn't have to do that, and I'm glad you did. I'm glad you enjoyed my content. And for those who don't know, the Crunchyroll stuff, um, 
when it comes to that stuff, sometimes reviews come out quicker on there than they do here, even though I don't have necessarily a time limit anymore about whether which review comes out first. Uh, like the Mayo Chica review was out on Grungy Road before it was out on YouTube, not necessarily because I was trying to fuck you guys over, but because I for, if I remember right, I didn't, it came out on Wednesday and I think I uploaded like the one here like on Thursday or some shit, but that's besides the point. And like, people and, I, and that really gets into the whole meat of it because i know a lot of people have been asking me it's like you should review chapters again and shit and people don't seem to understand and I'll, maybe i haven't made myself blatantly clear about this when it comes to reviewing manga chapters there are a few reasons why i don't do it anymore and not, no hate against people who do or do it because i still i put it this way i still go back and watch stories reviews on the chapters that i just read on alpha like like to like uh monday monday when chapter 682 came out for one piece I went back and watched Sawyer's review on it. He's the only person I review. I rewatched the review for because honestly, I don't need to see the same goddamn thoughts 89 times. Um, the reason why I don't re make reviews like I don't do chapter reviews like that because I, I don't feel accomplished with having just chapter reviews on my channel. Now, regardless if other people do, that's cool. But for me, I don't. I can't. I'm not proud of just having chapter reviews as as my as my shtick. Is that being just my shit on my video? You know. I, I want to have a variety. I want to be able to talk about life topics and at the same time to give you recommend, recommend you guys some shows. Also, I think someone left a comment on Mayo Chica Reviews like, why are you reviewing a whole bunch of edgy shit? I'm like, because I spent the majority of my early anime watching my career watching either like dark shows or shonen shows. I watched a lot of shows aimed towards guys in the action adventure department. And, or, or like the violent bloody type, like when they cry enough and lead and shit. I'm kind of in my like middle phase where I kind of just want to have fun, enjoyable shows. Mind you, I'm still watching shit like I'm watching Batoon, which looks like it's going to be fairly dark. And JoJo, which I, from what I, from everybody, you know, laugh, going ape shit over, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a, a, a fucking normal shonen. And at the same time, Hunter Hunter is not necessarily a... No, Hunter Hunter is kind of lighthearted, but not really. At least from what I've seen. Uh, so it's not like I'm just ditching the other genres. I mean, yeah, a lot of my reviews have been etchy, but like, I think the last three before Mayo Chiki was like Wagneria, Anonatsu de Maturu. I I've been reviewing a lot more romance shows, I'll say that, which is funny because I got a review Kimi no Tadoke, which I have finished. I just need to fucking record the video for it. I am reviewing One Piece Season 3 because I have all the collection on DVD now, so that's usually what I wait for. I review them as the collections for those seasons come out, so it's like easier for people to like. It's easier for me to recommend people buying it because I'm not recommending like 80. I heard that door open. <laughs> I'm not reviewing like fucking like telling you to go get like 80, 80 something box sets that half of them are out of print. I'm just going to recommend the collections, which are like, I think Season 3 is only like four, three or four collection i think three or four dvds which would be like sixty dollars for like over what's that like a hundred and something episodes no no it's like 86 like 80 something episodes which is really good for 60 bucks considering most people spend like that on 13 and 26 episode series so that's how that's going so one piece season three is coming kimi no Tadoke season two skate dance season two um dash bell Black Lagoon when I get it. Season 4 review probably won't come until I get all, I watch all of Season 4 and then like... So I can review that fairly. Uh, Helsing Ultimate. Sengoku Basara movie because that movie's coming out. I'm getting that shit day one. That's just going in. I'm going in on that fucking thing. I may even go back and review the Pokemon dub. I have not decided yet. I, I really haven't. But I might go back and review that dub. The whole point is that more shit is coming. You know... It, I play and, and the societal discussions aren't dead. It's more I've had like three or four topics I can honestly address. It's just more of me being a lazy dick and being busy with things and not just recording shit. So there will be more stuff <laughs> of everything. I mean, obviously I got the the group discussions for nostalgia rushes. Pokemon best wishes are steadily coming out as the episodes are subbed. Uh, anime reviews have to be kept up anyway because of the Crunchyroll stuff, so obviously those will be on a consistent basis. And societal discussions are the only thing I'm lacking on, which I just need to stop being a lazy ass and actually just fucking record the videos for. Um, oh, and I guess I I'll quickly address this because 
I have yet to... Okay, for those who don't know, and I hate bringing attention to this, especially because I just watched a video to tell people not to bring attention to it because of how dumb it is, but I'm actually going to just do a different spin on it. Still doesn't justify it, but <laughs> that's just me. Uh, the whole PETA thing with Pokemon Black and White and 2, where they made another video game parody kind of bashing the game for being like animal cruelty, which the, my first reaction was, doesn't this seem kind of late considering the Pokemon franchise has had the same formula since like the 90s, so it seems kind of redundant to just now be making this kind of parody game. But then, honestly, as you, you think about it, you realize they don't even fucking believe what they're saying. Obviously, they come out and like renege on everything they say half the time anyway. If people were going to say and call Peter stupid, my question is, What's the point of it anymore? I mean, they did this with the Mario game. They did this with Mario 3D Land with the Tanuki suit. And, you know, at this point, it's just kind of for the controversy. But the, at the same time, it's like, yeah, people are talking about you. But what does that really do about your cause? And it just decredits the hell out of you. It's, it's kind of like you're intentionally antagonizing the fuck out of people for publicity. But for you, considering your purpose is to help animals... You're not really spreading that message. You're just making you seem like a corrupt company that's based around saving animals, in which case maybe people just kind of not believe your bullshit. And stupid people would just be like, well, fuck animals, because Peter sucks. I don't know. I didn't... I just don't see the point in it. Like, it's like, yeah, you got the publicity, but you also have people who discredit the fuck out of you. And mind you, it's not, like, too late to change your ways. I mean... You're saving animals. It isn't like animals aren't around anymore. I mean, you can constantly save animals. I'm just saying. I don't see the point in kind of bashing video games when there are other things you could be doing. And then on top of that, the, the, the publicity you're getting, I guess, is what you want. But at the same time, you're not getting any positive. There's not going to be any positive result from it. Except for people, the positivity people get from having joined together to bash on you. So, I don't know. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to really talk about? Because that's about it. I mean, um, that's about it. The only other thing I can fucking talk about is that Sony Music is a dick. And it, I, 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 don't, I don't even understand what the fuck is up with Sony Music. Because they got me, they got my second channel for fucking the Soda Online video. And I'm just going to mini rant about this for a second. What, what the fuck is it with Soda Online... And, like, the internet. Because it seems like everybody and their grandma is, like, an asshole about it. What I could have easily have done is been like, Crunchyroll, could you give me the clips and then... <laughs> like, and not block Japan. Which I think that's what I might end up doing for, like, later sort of online videos. Just block Japan from that list. Because they seem to block you. If they seem to, like, take down your shit regardless of what you do. And people are like... And that's what I understand. Like, why is it, like, COVID virus episodes or reviews are fine? But if I make a video about my thoughts on it, I'm fucked over. And when Jay put up his episode reviews of Sword Online, his shit got taken down. Like, wh what is... What is... Wh what that show... And, it, and people just getting fucked over by having videos about that show on. Because that was retarded. Like, literally. That happened, like, last week. And I'm sitting there like... What? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Didn't make any goddamn sense to me. But Sony Music, what the fuck? Anyways, uh, so all the update stuff. Once again, <laughs> just thank you. Thank you for the fucking support. You know, thank you for investing in a channel that isn't necessarily focused to things that, you know, a lot of people will view. Because it's funny, it's like I didn't necessarily lose subscribers when I switched from chapter reviews to like my, my normal shtick. And it's not like I wouldn't review chapter. It, it, to me, it just seems like a pointless endeavor. Because my main goal for my channel is not necessarily to just review chapters and become like this big anime YouTube celebrity that's just known for reviewing chapters. I want to be like that first YouTuber who's known for reviewing multi, like multitude of shit, you know. And, and another question I guess I should throw out is what of these things do you like and what of these things do you hate? Because it's like... Obviously, do you like the reviews more than the fucking best wishes reviews? Do you like the societal discussions over the nostalgia rushes? Like, if you were to rank the things you like on my channel, what would be number one and what would be number five? I just want to see because, honestly, I'm not totally sure how to gauge it sometimes. 
I mean, they all seem to get like the about an equal amount of views if it's a, like a, a, a pretty solid topic. But at the same time, if I can make like a kind of a bullshit ass video, like anime hype moments, which I don't really necessarily view as a great discussion. Like what? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things I'm just kind of like, where where do I stand? Like, what can I do to improve my channel? Because I, I feel like I'm going to hit, like, I'm hitting, I'm in the middle of hitting a wall, and I need to figure out what is it about my channel that, because I, I, I think part of it is just people that don't like, you know, the multitude of videos, because not everybody likes every video I put out, you know. I know a lot of you skip over the best wishes reviews because most of you aren't Pokemon fans. You know, most of you come for the anime reviews of the discussions and societal discussions and shit. That's why people I have people wondering where the next societal discussion is, you know. I don't know. I just, I kind of want that feedback. <sighs> yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> I think that's about it for updates. So, uh, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I want to get to 10K, but I am happy with the, I'm happy with the people who sit here and support me now. So, thank you guys for putting up with my bullshit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, better shit to come, more diverse shit to come, and just look out for it. So, uh, this has been the Insane Game Freak. Life's a game. Say blah, 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 blah. Life's a game. Play to win. And I will catch you guys later. Peace on, on, on.